The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged. Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I am thank you for that, though. The system does produce corruption, and in, in, I think implicit in the system is corruption, when in fact, whether or not you can run for public office, and it costs a great deal of money to run for the United States Senate, even for a small state like Delaware, uh, you have to go to those people who have money, and they always want something. I'm making the statement to set the record straight about the involvement of the Biden family. I've heard Joe Biden say that he's never discussed business with Hunter. That is false. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. Demoralization now reaches such areas where previously not even Comrade Andropov and, and all his experts would, would even dream of such a tremendous success. Most of it is done by Americans to Americans, thanks to lack of moral standards. It is a big idea, a new world order. As we move toward a new world order. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand a line, you're either for or against. Get up in the face of some Congress people. This is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions. Who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms, their platforms to push their, their own personal, personal bias and agenda, agenda to control exactly, exactly what people think. think. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous to our democracy. democracy. As I mentioned before, exposure to true information does not matter anymore. There's always a reason why right now the rights are an inconvenience that we can't afford. If the government can take them away at will, then they're not rights at all. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. Increasingly, we have to choose between a left or right. Well, I'd like to suggest there is no such thing as a left or right. There's only an up or down. Uh, the uh, influence of Marxist-Leninist ideas in the United States is absolutely fantastic. I, I could never believe it 14 years ago when I landed uh, in this part of the world. This is a real general, Keith Kellogg. Right, Keith? And this is a great group. It's good to see you, Keith. He's been with me from before day one, right? He said, that guy should run. Uh, we got to get him to run. I like those guys. They were here before I ran. You know, this quite a few of them. Your leftists in, in United States, all these professors and all these beautiful civil rights defenders, they are instrumental in the process of the, of the uh, uh, subversion only to destabilize the nation. When their job is completed, they are, non, they are not needed anymore. They know too much. Some of them, when, when they get disillusioned, when they see that Marxist-Lenin has come to power, they, obviously they get offended they think that they will come to power. That will never happen, of course. They will be lined up against the wall and shot. It happened in, in uh, Grenada when Maurice Bishop was, he was already a Marxist, 
he was executed by, by a new Marxist, who was more Marxist than this Marxist. Same happened in Afghanistan when uh, first there was Taraki, who was killed by Amin, then Amin was killed by Babrak Karman with the help of KGB. Same happened in, in Bangladesh when Munjibur Rahman, very pro-Soviet leftist, was assassinated by his own Marxist-Leninist military comrades. It's the same pattern everywhere. The, the time bomb is ticking, but every second the disaster is coming closer and closer. Unlike myself, you will have nowhere to defect to. Our enemies are lunatics and maniacs. They cannot stand that they do not own me. I don't need them. I don't need anything about them. I don't need their money. They cannot steer me. They cannot shake me. And they will never, ever control me. And they will never, ever, therefore, control you. Today's ceremony, however, has very special meaning. Because today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. Washington flourished, but the people did not share in its wealth. Politicians prospered, but the jobs left and the factories closed. The establishment protected itself, but not the citizens of our country. People keep looking to government for the answer, and government's the problem. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth.